Hey guys, this is Julian and welcome to update video number 4 of my church project in which I will be showing you this, my Bricklink order that just arrived in the mail. So, let's open it up. Alright, there we go. There. Nicely packaged. Everything seems to be as new as it can be, so quite happy with what I'm seeing here. Anyway, uh, for starters, there's a couple of 2 by 12 I think no 2 by uh, 2 by 10 uh, dark bluish gray plates that I will be using to make uh, the lower border of the building um, next up are these in combination with what should be these the 2 by 2 variant and the 1 by 2 variant uh, these will all be used to make the pillars uh, in combination with these which will also be used to make the pillars in combination with some pieces that I already got, I think. Yes. And, of course, these. The 2x2 two two with one missing piece uh, tiles. So, basically, the L tiles. These will be used to finish the ground uh, beneath the pillars. So, with these pieces, I should actually have enough to finish all the pillars, which is quite exciting because um, that will be a huge change. Uh, I also got some arches, uh, here are 10 1x6 arches, and 10 1x3 half arches, that I will be using if, uh, on the lower levels of the building. Uh, some 1x4 10 arches that will go on the inside, uh, but there's only 10 I think, but I need more, but uh, these are all the seller had for sale, so... Um, these inverted 1x2 slopes and uh, modified 1x2 bricks with a curve uh, will be used to make the rain pipes. Um, these go on top, these go on the bottom. Um, I got some modified brown 1x2 plates that have a small clip on the side, which I will be using to, to make details. And some other modified 1x2 plates that have this uh, small ridge on the side, which I will also be using to make some parts more detailed, but yeah, more for later. Um, over here we have some light bluish grey 1x2 uh, plates, which I was uh, lacking quite a lot of, I only had 10 I think. And in a project of this scale, of course, you need more of these. So, there it goes. Um, also, some 1x2 sand green plates, just for the sake of having them, as they are a nice color and will add uh, the mossy cobblestone effect on some of the outside walls. Um, some more of the 1x4 arches, but now in white. Uh, these will also go on the inside, uh, but on the upper levels, because there I will not be using uh, 10 bricks, but white bricks. And then some uh, 10 cheese slopes, which will also be used to make the windows. And a whole bunch of 1x1 one one 10 plates, because currently I was only using 1x2 plates and the odd numbers um, I just didn't have. So there were a lot of holes in my walls that I obviously need to cover. So here it goes. Um, here is one one black uh, one by one brick because there only was one and I will need more. But well, guess it's handy. Uh, some one by one plates in dark bluish gray. Uh, which will also be used to make the rain pipes or the drain pipes or whatever. Um, 
some white cheese sloops that I actually don't remember buying, but I guess I uh, ordered them for something I can currently not think of. Probably the windows on the upper levels. And here are some one by one translucent pieces um, that I will be using to make the front doors because now they are too thick and they obviously need to be one thick, but I didn't have these so. Um, some more modified 1x2 plates in brown, but now with the jumper stud on top, these are really useful and will definitely find their use somewhere. And then last but not least, the parts I actually made this order for. 1x1 uh, modified bricks with one stud on the side in brown, uh, which I needed on the outside of my windows. I was currently using brown ones, uh, sorry, grey ones, because that were the only ones I had. Uh, but they obviously need to be changed in brown, so... And uh, the most important part, actually, were these brown arches of 1x4. Uh, some pieces are actually quite cheap, but these are not. These were 33 cents each, so... Yeah, quite expensive, really. But they only came in two or three sets, so they are quite rare, and I needed them, so... What you gonna do about it? Anyway, quite happy with these pieces. Yeah. Uh, one last overall shot. I don't know, there's 1000 something pieces I think here. Uh, that will now go in the church project. So I'll continue building and see you guys later. Bye. Wait, what? Buy? No, not buy. Just find this in my mail. Another package, so might as well extend this video. Um, this uh, package is from uh, a Belgian reseller, uh, the Helmouth on Brooklyn. Um, I've already bought parts here before, and I was always very pleased. So I'm hoping that will be the case as well this time. There. Okay, there we go, ah, there's a small business card, uh, the Hellmouth, um, this seller is also on Brick Owl, uh, which I have never used before, but might as well try it in the future, I guess, uh, let's put this here, alright, so, I'm seeing some minifigure parts. Definitely looks like it was packaged very nicely. Uh -huh. Alright. Um, apparently everything has been uh, vacuum packed independently, which is something I really appreciate. Uh, as it keeps all the pieces dust free and just looks really professional. So, big uh, ups to you on that, I suppose. Anyway. Um, we got a whole lot of different expressions on the on the heads, um, because obviously in such a big project, uh, derp. Okay, there we go. Um, because in a project like this, you obviously need a lot of people. In this case, minifigures, and well, they can't all have the same face, can they? I really dislike yellow uh, figures because they make the model look less uh, realistic, so I only use flesh or brown uh, colored heads. Anyway, um, also got some PC monitor screens that will go as detailing, uh, some printed tiles for newspapers or whatever, um, a printed menu card tile. Um, because there will also be a kitchenette in uh, the model and I figured that would be a fun part to hide in there somewhere and some more heads then from left to right uh, some more brown jumper plates some brown 1x1 one one pieces uh, plates brown 1x2 tiles and some inverted slopes in grey, which will also be used for the drain pipes. And some regular black slopes, also for the drain pipes. 
some modified 2x2 uh, two two tiles with a stud on top. These will be put in the floor and a minifigure will be put on top of that so it's always attached. So these are basically just to put the minifigures. Uh, some more translucent 1x1 one one plates for the doors and windows. Some 1x3 one tiles, 1x1 one one light grey plates and some more computer monitors and uh, keyboards. As well as just some regular white tiles, which I will be using for the pillars, and some uh, clo I don't know. clocks, <laughs> whatever. There. And last but not least, some more 1x2 light grey plates, 1x2 modified plates and jumpers in light grey. Uh, some regular 1x2 tiles and some more 10 arches and I think that's it Yes All right, so that concludes order time I suppose now It's really time for me to get building so now for real bye